Okay. Okay, so this is my grandmother's neighborhood. Coincidentally, we're in front of a we're in front of a school. That's Columbus High School on the next block, and I believe this is a school for the blind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think this is a this is Frampton Hall from a school for the blind across the street from Columbus High School. Uh, we have some partly sunny skies right now. The sun is behind that big cloud. That's when when the cloud moves over to the side and that clear patch is over, we're going to try and make some more observations. I have my telescope set up. It's pointing at the sun and the aperture is right here where it will project the sun onto a, onto a, a white piece of paper held by my mother. Also making cameo appearances, my grandma. And that's dad waiting in the car. Hi dad. And then there's me. You all know who I am. So, we're just waiting for the sun to come out. I see the sun. Alright, so we have the, the clouds have parted just a little bit, and we can sort of see the sun. La mano. This, the cloud got in. The cloud got in the way, and they're and they're kind of making the circle. Oh, mira, mira. Okay, you can start to see as the sun slowly, the clouds move. You can actually you can actually see the clouds moving over the disk of the sun on this projection. And look right there, that little dot is the planet Venus. I'm not sure how how visible that is because due to the brightness of the it. outside light, I can't even see my own camera. So I'm just kind of taking on a leap of faith that it's showing up. Uh, let me, let me, alright, I switched my camera to macro mode in hopes of a clearer resolution. It's a tiny dot right there, right across the surface of the sun. Doesn't look as bright as it can because there's, there's clouds moving, but you can see the transit. But you're going too far away, it's getting fuzzy. Okay, a little closer. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's nice. Okay, nice and sharp, right there. You can also see a couple of smaller dots. I'm pretty sure those are sunspots. I am really hoping that this is showing up on the camera because I can barely tell. It's, it's I can totally see it, but the clouds move so fast. Yeah. Yeah, that. But you see the little dot. Yeah, it's you, like a pinpoint. Yeah, the, and it's the like right there. Yeah, that one pinpoint is the the point that's not moving. That is the planet, and all the cloudy stuff moving on it is clouds in front of the sun. So even now, on a partly cloudy day, you can still totally observe the movements of uh, the planets. Uh, your your little oblong. Try angling a little bit. Okay, a little little this way. To my right, to my left. There it goes. Yeah. The wind is blowing the paper. Yeah. Um, try tilting it like that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's a nice and sharp image now. Smaller though. Yeah, you can step away to make it bigger. Smaller equals sharp. And I, I'm getting a. All I can see is a dim circle of light in my camera. I can't really, I can't really tell if if oh. any details showing up. I hope it shows up. Yeah, I, since it's an LED screen in the outdoors, it's, okay. you know, I'm gonna go into a shaded spot where I can see the camera a little better. Alright, I switched to a bigger, well, a, a, a stronger magnification lens, and I really, I, I'm not even sure if this is showing up. It seems so... Mm -hmm. Too bright? Yeah, it's not that it's too bright, it's that, well, I, I can't see my own screen, so I'm kind of taking this on a leap of faith. If you can look at it with your naked eye, you might be... Oh, wow! Look, I had it out of focus! Okay, Holy crap, that's amazing! Ah, ya la nube lo tapo. The clouds are coming back. Ooh, ooh, yo lo vi! Whoa! I see it! So, that circle is the Venus, and the clouds are back. Ah, se fue. 
Oh, wow. Stop. I'm recording. Okay, so here it is about 7.30. It should be possible to still observe the event. But as you can see, we still have rather dense cloud cover. I believe that bright patch there, right over the decorative flag, is where the sun currently is. So hopefully they will move, the clouds will move before the sun sets and we'll be able to get at least one more shot of the transit. Uh, we're using the sharper focus lens on the camera this time, uh, telescope that is, in hopes of... Man, this is blurry. It's focusing on the ground instead of in the ca on the telescope. Oh, and by the way, there's a... There's a warning label right here on the telescope telling you not to look at the sun with this thing, at least not to put your eye there. So yeah, can't blame anybody if they burn their retinas off. Anyway, that, that's just the common sense. I mean, don't, don't look directly at the sun. What part of that sounds like it's okay to look directly at the sun with these magnifying glasses? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so again, one last look at the pretty sky, which is now out of focus because I'm in macro mode. So, one last look at the sky and all of its cloudiness, very overcast. I'm glad I got those shots earlier because it, um, because this is gonna just get harder and harder to observe. Even though there's a tree in the way, you can see it in the sun. Look Boom! At it. Yes, perfect shot. I am getting it. I am clearly seeing it on camera. Um, Alright, what you are looking at is the image of the sun being projected. So you can see tree leaves now. And that black spot is Venus. It is plain as day. I mean, if you look, the sun is on almost all the way on the horizon, and it's behind those buildings. That's why you're seeing the trees. Oh, now you lost it. No, no, it's still there. I see it. Uh. Now all I see are trees. Yeah, I see the little dot right behind the... That I can focus, and you can see the trees in perfect detail. Because the sun is so low behind the trees, but you see mm -hmm. the dot, right? Yes, yes, you can still see the dot that is the planet Venus. Wow, the resolution is so good that despite the fact that the trees are way over there, I can see little buds and berries growing on the tree. If I adjust the focus, the tree comes out. Go to look up what's behind the trees. Uh, now yeah, the, sun is the tree has behind, taken over. Behind the tree. For just what? a few shining moments, we were able to see Venus one more time, but now that tree is in the way, so all we can see is the tree. Wow, the sun is really bright now. Look at it. Yeah, we finally, finally, against all odds. Wait, maybe, maybe if we took a few steps to the right, we would get out of the trees. All right, it's one last time. Out. It's moving. There it goes. It's gone. There it is. Right there at the very edge, about to disappear. It's gone. <laughs> All right, now I don't think we're going to get it anymore because the sun has moved enough that it is actually gone behind that building. But just for a few seconds, it was showing. You know what? I'm going to see if I can replay this footage at a slower speed to see if you can see the dot a little better.